Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be assembling, testing, and reviewing the Prusa Mark IV 3D printer. Really early into the build, I actually ended up running into some problems with attaching the clips onto the sort of base beams of the printer, and I actually got one stuck. Uh, it was pretty difficult, but I eventually figured it out, and after removing the clip, I figured out that the way to attach the clip was actually to push on it on two sides at the same time. And it hurt my fingers a little bit, but I was able to get through all seven clips that way. After I finished assembling the printer, I decided it would be a good idea to try and test print something to see if the printer actually worked and to make sure I didn't make any fatal flaws while assembling the printer. Now, the slicer that I used was a cloud slicer, but it must have been a low quality one because it corrupted the file somehow and the printer tried to burn a hole in the print bed. So that was quite unfortunate. I had no idea what to do. I, at first, I didn't even know it was the sliced file until I properly sliced it on the Prusa slicer and learned that it was the software that was the problem, not the assembly. I would recommend using one of the provided files rather than one of your own sliced files to test the printer for the first time to make sure there are no mistakes with the assembly. Such a sacred thing to me. I can't believe it's just a burning memory. Heartaches, heartaches. What does it matter how my heart breaks? I should be happy with someone new, but my heart aches for you. So the corrupted file made the printer do quite a bit of damage to the print bed, which was quite unfortunate because it really doesn't look as nice. But luckily for me, the damage was on the corner of the print bed where the printer doesn't actually print anything, so I'll still be able to print things normally. After slicing the STL file on the Prusa slicer, I was actually able to print out the scuba duck, and I'm really quite happy with how it came out. There it is. Wow. Okay. OK, 
he ought to take it off the printer. the supports, clean this thing up a little bit, and see how it came out. And here is the finished product. I cleaned up some of the filaments off of it, or not the filaments, the supports. And it's actually looking pretty good, even with the larger layer height. It's a little bit hard to see with the black, but it does look like the original STL file, which is a scuba duck. You can see his mask, his little oxygen tanks on the back, and even his little snorkel. The top looks a little bit ugly, with all the circles and everything, but the sides look pretty good. The bottom is perfectly flat. And you can see the individual layers because of the thicker layer height again. Overall it came out pretty well and uh, a lot better than the first attempt where it just burned a hole in itself. So I'll call this a success. Overall I had a really good experience with assembling the Prusa Mark IV. I would really recommend getting the kit rather than the pre-made printer because you just learn so much about the 3D printer, how it works, the mechanisms and everything. And you also save a little bit of money when you get the kit rather than the pre-made printer. It prints really well, really high quality prints, and it does them really fast. It can print several different kinds of materials. And although it's very pricey, I would say it's definitely worth it. It's got a very straightforward design, it's very simple, and it just works really well. Overall, just an absolutely great experience with this printer. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I really appreciate it when you do this. This video really cost a lot of money and took a lot of time. Just getting the printer alone cost $1,600. It was super expensive, but worth it nonetheless. And building the printer took me about 8 to 10 hours of just straight work. And I did it in multiple sittings, not just one. I think it's impossible to do in one sitting. Uh, I'll have a few more simpler shorter videos coming soon maybe i've got a few ideas nothing more in this video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace